Hello guys, welcome to part 3 of our time lapse tutorial se series. In the last uh, episode, the last video, I showed you how to make the actual time lapse video, which was 7 seconds long. In this, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add motion to the clip, zooming in and zooming out, and using the, the panning left to right. Okay, so this is how we left off last time. We obviously we exported it, but we'll just go back to the same one. So you can just do it all over again or if you had saved the After Effects file, open that back up again. What we do here is we go into this timeline over here, click this arrow, which will open some new options. What we do is we go all the way to the beginning of the time of the timeline. We click right now we're gonna do um zooming in. So we click scale, which will create an anchor or a stopwatch as it says here. And then click that will make it right there. That's the first position. Drag it all the way towards the end. That's the end of the clip. And what we can do is we can adjust the actual clip over here. So we click that the corner of it, hold shift, so the aspect ratio is in order, is the same. And we can just zoom in. And that's just, just zoom in for now. Obviously you can that'll be done. That's finished to be honest. If you look if you look at this, if you go slowly, you can see it. If you zoom this out, it's gonna so the whole second clip from the beginning, it will start from here and we'll zoom in all the way to the end. You can obviously move it about, but that's the position, this anchor point right here is the position for the final position and this one's the beginning. So if you have this in the middle and then nothing behind it, it will just suddenly change. So make sure that's right at the end. You can have multiple. I think you can have multiple, I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can. Anyway, that's for another day. And if you want now, if we want to have we go back right to the beginning and we want to do position instead as well, or even as well, what we do instead of clicking scale, but let's just have them both at the same time. We click position, that will lock that position for the first frame. And if we move it right to the end, as you can see, this one is a bit, it's a bit weird. So what we can do, just drag, just drag the, just drag the, the like oh, all the way to the end so we want to reach the top and that will automatically create another anchor point and as you can see it will show zoom in and pan it will pan up from the original one obviously it's rendering now so you might not be able to see it but as you can see we'll just come back slowly anyway you can see it pretty much it's going to zoom in there i'll show you right at the end of the clip Sometimes it does uh, have this extra bit here, but if you just drag this little orange thing right down to the edge of it, you'll cut it off. So that's, that'll be the last clip. So as you can see there slowly, it's zooming out and it's also panning down. What we do is the same as we did last time. That's completed there. File, export, add to render queue just like last time. That's the last time on this, is this one. You can just press render again. And that'll be done. Just like last time, be quick same way so export it from the desktop as a mov file double click that it should convert it and i think it's the same for windows i'm not i can't i'm not sure i'm sure they're all the it's the same way how to do it but the converting at the end if i move this to the side again okay and that's it any questions just let me know if there's any requests or anything that you want me to or even if you want me to re-upload this in a more informative way, just let me know. I'll put this. I'll put this clip at the end just to show you the final product. Thank you very much. Goodbye.